Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone, it's incredible to see so many people turn out for the student block. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the NUS International Students Campaign for organizing mass student action. To the FB Students Against Trump people. To the movement for justice, sisters and cut. To the Torrent victims and so, so many others that have made this action possible. Our priority at the National Union of Students in liberating education is to demand the safety and equality and justice for all international students and migrants. There is a tendency to want to pit us off each other. The students are the good migrants because they bring their money, because they bring a certain set of skills, and the bad migrants are the ones struggling, working as cleaners, working within the NHS and across our society, and we absolutely refuse this division. Because also, trust me, international students are not having an easy ride. They may be treated like cash cows, but we have a collective here, the Turk victims, that have been falsely accused of cheating in their English language test just so that they could be deported, so that we take their money and do not provide the services that were promised to them. And they are struggling daily. So please, please come out and support the campaign in any way possible and come and speak to the people holding the banner. I just want to say, today is one day without us. Now we know the reality is that migrants, if they did withdraw their labor, would probably all lose their jobs, and if not, be considerably victimized and demonized for taking any sort of action or speaking up against the injustices they face. So we're here in solidarity by showing visibly that we are opposing the borders, that we oppose the Home Office plans to cap the numbers, and that we oppose all their xenophobic and racist uh, uh, projects, including that of prevent. Now can you imagine one day without us? What if we withdrew our labor? What if we withdrew our skills, our knowledge, and our cultures from the society? Do you think it would run? No. no. And so we need to fight. We need to fight the narrative with everything that we have and we need to link our struggles. We need to be coming out of the NHS demo, having a migrants block, and supporting all those that choose to take action. We need to equip people with the, the ability to unionize themselves or to collectivize their struggles in some ways. We need to come out and now is the time to strike. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what? Many of us are not here in the UK by choice. Many of us are here as a consequence of this government's actions. Yes. So when it tries to remove the responsibility, we should just be sticking it outside the door of number 10, because that's where the responsibility actually lies. Yeah. And our very own ban does come in the form of prevent, does come in the form of the Home Office policies, because that is a very real plan to ban Muslims from any political and public spaces and it extends to migrants. There are even students internationally that want to come and study here and are having their visas refused and their permissions completely scrapped on the basis of prevent because they happen to come from Muslim majority countries. And I just want to say finally that we are organizing a national summit on the 12th of March as so as it is free. It's on a Sunday. Bring your grandmas, your kids, your family members, your cousins, whoever you want. Come along so that we can try and build locally on the incredible actions that groups like Movement for Justice, TOEIC Victims, the International Students Campaign, Sisters of and so, so many defend the right to protest. Every Students Against Trump are building. We need to unite. We need to build a big, broad coalition, and we need to start doing that both locally as well as nationally. And on just a final, final note, sending a message to number 10, many, many, many of us are here because you were there and you are still there. Thank you very much, and the struggle continues.